RAIN, R-A-I-N, is an acronym. It stands for Recognize, Accept, Investigate, and Non-Identification. It is also a very handy way to explore any sensation, thought, or emotion, even the hard ones. The practice helps in a couple important ways. First, it boosts your emotional literacy. Instead of being lost inside an emotional reaction, you stop and get curious about what's happening inside you. In this way, we can learn to catch our emotional reactions early. There's also a second way in which this practice helps. The fruit of a meditation practice isn't just less emotional reactivity. It's also having fewer negative emotions in the first place. The more we practice observing our emotional habits, the less potent they become. Over time, they can begin to heal. How does this happen? That's what RAIN is all about. It's the gift inside Pandora's box. Okay, start by taking a few deep breaths. You can keep your eyes open or closed, whatever's comfortable for you. As you breathe in, stretching up the spine. As you breathe out, settling a little bit into the cushion of the chair or whatever position you're in. As you do this, see if you can find some ease in the body. When we work with our emotions, which can get pretty strong, we first want to take some time to tune into a relatively comforting sensation. This is like a home base that we can come back to. So it might be the breath, or a peaceful feeling in the body, or a sound, or an image, even an external picture you can look at. So go ahead now and take a couple minutes to find this place and then to meditate on it. Really feeling it or looking at it or hearing it, noticing its qualities, letting yourself get familiar with it. This is a place we'll come back to over the course of this meditation. You can also visit it anytime you need a break. If you like, you can even give it a name, calling it home or rest. The first step of RAIN, the R, is recognize. Can you recognize any emotions happening in your experience right now? Maybe. Sadness, happiness, anger, frustration, curiosity, boredom, any emotion. Take some time to check it out. Is there any subtle emotion that you've been carrying around that you notice, yeah, that is there a little bit? If it feels like there's a clear emotion present, then make a light mental note of it. If you're less sure, that is, you feel like there might be some emotion happening, but you just don't really know what it is or even where it is, 
then just use a generic label, feel. Take a moment to explore this now. If you can't locate any emotions, no problem. Simply come back to your home base sensation. Actually, do that anyway. This is good practice. Coming back to the breath, or a peaceful feeling in the body, or whatever you've identified as home or rest. Noticing that for a few moments. Our next step is A, accept. That means whatever the emotional sensation, you let it be there. So instead of trying to ignore or suppress it, which we often do, you open to the whole complicated feeling of it with as much tenderness and care as you can muster. Take a few moments now to explore what this feels like. What does it feel like to allow your emotion to be there? Opening to it, accepting it, even caring for it. The neuroscience of this is intriguing. We're essentially integrating our emotions with our cognition, marrying what we feel with what we know. Take your time with this. Alternate exploring acceptance with coming back to home or to rest. Always letting this attitude of compassion, of caring for yourself, lead the way. Acceptance may seem unassuming, but it's the most important move a human being can make. It has dozens of near synonyms described in different ways in every culture and tradition. Forgiveness, love, equanimity, maturity, being present. All of these are acceptance. What does the experience of acceptance feel like for you?
So you're feeling into the emotion, and then you return to the breath, or the ease of the body, or sounds. Swinging back and forth at a pace that works for you. If you need to, stay with the home base a while to let your body and mind settle. Next up is the I of RAIN, investigation. Investigation is expanding and deepening the volume of what we're accepting. It's getting interested in whatever we're feeling and exploring it at a pace that works for us. The key is to observe our emotions in the most relaxed possible way. Friendly, but also objective. It's more important here to be relaxed in our attitude than to see every part of an emotion clearly. So the instruction is to let these sensations come to you, to feel into them, feeling their edges, notice how they change, and letting them be there. As always, when you need to, swing your attention back to home or to rest for a while, and then you can swing it back again into working in this way with our emotional sensations. When we open to a feeling, particularly one that comes around again and again, mindfulness takes the wind out of its sails. If you do this enough times, you create a new and healthier habit. So keep investigating, feeling what you feel, occasionally shifting your attention to the comparative comfort of home base as needed. It's also important to say here that at any time, you can just stop meditating and go for a walk or talk it out with a friend. There are many ways to work with our emotions. The fourth and final step of RAIN, the N, is non-identification. Non-identification is less an action than an attitude, the attitude of not taking your emotions personally. However counterintuitive it may sound, it's something to try, to explore. How does it change your experience to say, anger is happening, the way you might say, a thunderstorm is happening? Can you see your emotions as just part of the natural flow of things, product of untold causes and conditions that roll out quite on their own? When we stop compulsively claiming every passing emotion and thought as I, me, mine, then something 
very beautiful can start to happen. We find ourselves feeling more connected to everything and everyone else. Very slowly, we start to get over ourselves. Sensations come, sensations go. They get stronger, they get softer, feeling all of them, letting them do their thing. As you do, you can also practice shifting your attention back to home base, your breath, an image or sound, some peaceful grounding quality in the body. And that's the practice. It's a long one, but it's a rich one. Before you get up, take a few minutes now to just relax, maybe even lie down. Let the work integrate. When you're ready, open your eyes and be curious about how this attitude of allowing and relaxation may permeate the rest of your day.